Hi everybody, I had had some questions asked about how to upload the CSV file with all the inventory. Uh, right now it's stored on Sarah's Squad. So you're going to click under Files here. And then you'll see Items, Bulk, Template, Synagips. You're going to download that. And so it's on your computer. When you download it, then it'll be available there. So then when we go to the next step and you actually select it, you'll be able to see the file. Next, we're going to go to Square. And I already have a Square account set up, so you're going to see that um, I'm going to have items when I show you what I'm doing. But if this is your first time setting up, you wouldn't have that. You're going to go over to your sidebar on the left. You're going to click on Items. After you click on Items, for mine it's going to pull things up because I have already done an import. But if this is your first setup, that'll be blank. You'll come over here to the right where it says Import Export, and you're going to do Import Items. You will already have the file that you've downloaded off the Facebook page. You'll select Modify Item Library. What that'll do is it'll add all your items to your existing items. If you don't have any existing items, you could do the overwrite, um, but I've never done that simply because I have some inventory already in my system. You're going to click Next, and it'll update you to either select the item from your computer or to drag and drop. If you choose Select the item from your computer, it's out on my desktop, so I should be able to find it. It's called Items Bulk Template, and that's the one you downloaded from the Facebook group. You would select it and hit Choose, and then it'll put it here. You'll click Upload and it'll automatically go ahead and upload all your items for you. It'll say confirm your changes. Uh, you won't be able to revert back to a previous item inventory. Well, everything I've done is from the import, so that's not an issue. I'll confirm import, and then you can see all the items are here. So that's the whole import process. Then, if you go over to write an invoice, because all those items are already set up, if I were to create a new invoice, I, could, I can just type in the item name, so say it's Caramel Apple, and it'll go ahead and come up right here. The thing you do have to note is you need to make sure if you're ordering a collection or an individual item. And if you didn't want to upload everything, you could go into that CVS file, or sorry, CSV, <laughs> you're not getting a prescription, you could go into that CSV file and delete sections you're not interested in, but I decided to just upload everything because I think that's the easiest process. So you could just select the item. It'll automatically give you the price. If you um, drop down here, these ones are going to have sales tax set at 6% just because that's my sales tax. But you can change your sales tax. Let me just show you how to do that. Um, we're going to cancel that invoice. Go over into do, 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 items. You'll click Taxes, and then you can set your tax. And um, I have tax applied to items, so that's where you set your tax. You would just click on here. You'd put the tax in for your area or however you're handling tax, and then hit Save. I'm going to show you how. So I have, I have tax set up for all my items. However, if I were to put my shipping in, I don't charge tax on shipping. So when I go down here and I type in shipping, shipping and handling will come up. And you can see when you drop down, I don't have this little box checked for the um, sales tax on my shipping. I hope that helps everybody. And if you have any other questions, let me know.